Hey everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to help brainstorm your business ideas. I'll show you how to generate new ideas, iterate on existing ones, develop business plans, feature sets, etc. All with AI. Now, before we get started, if you like this content and this video, please consider liking and subscribing below as it really helps me get more views and improve this channel. And also, if this is your first time here, my channel is geared towards high level technology explanations and tutorials on topics such as cloud, big data, and AI. Now, I've been focusing a lot on AI recently because it's become apparent to me that in the upcoming years, this is going to become a large part of our lives. Now, as such, my plan is to focus particularly on creating content that will help you stay up to date, ahead of the curve, and hopefully give you the tools and knowledge necessary to leverage AI and other technology to their full potential. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do first is navigate to the chat GPT interface. You'll do that by going to chat.openai.com and registering for a free account if you haven't done so already. I'll go ahead and put the links for those below. So first, what we're going to want to do is either ask ChatGPT to help give us a couple ideas or to refine an existing idea. So first, let's go ahead and start by saying that we want it to generate a few business ideas for the hospitality industry. All right, so now we can see it's given us five ideas here, a luxury hotel chain, uh, a restaurant that sources local ingredients, a wellness retreat center, pop-up restaurant, and a cafe that serves specialty coffee and tea. So, you know, pretty general ideas. Um, I'm not quite sure that um, especially the luxury hotel is very attainable for us. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and try and adapt this a little bit. And let's say that we want to shift these to, to some more attainable ideas. Okay, so I'm asking it to, uh, to give me some ideas that we could start small with and then grow. All right, great. So we have another five ideas, and these look a lot more attainable. A bed and breakfast. Um, again, we have a food truck, a small wellness studio, home-based bakery, and uh, now a neighborhood cafe. So let's say, you know, uh, as we're going through the process of ideation for, for business ideas, we're really going to want to focus on things where we have at least some expertise. So if we work in sales, we'll probably want to, I don't know, maybe focus on sales productivity or something like that. Um, if you work in hospitality or the service industry, you might want to um, maybe think about something that would connect service industry personnel with event coordinators, uh, for example. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll go with that idea. So let's, let's say, let's say, how about connecting uh, service industry personnel to event coordinators? All right, so now it's kind of expanded on that idea and saying um, we could create a platform that connects service industry personnel, such as caterers, bartenders, and musicians with event coordinators and planners. Platform would allow event coordinators to search and book service providers based on their location, availability, and specialties. Okay, great. This sounds like something we might be able to work with. Now, you know, this brings up an important point that that I want to kind of reference in, you know, how exactly to use ChatGPT and, and where it's useful. So I wouldn't necessarily say that uh, you should use ChatGPT for any necessarily net new idea generation because, you know, ChatGPT is trained on a bunch of human text. It's probably not going to do too much outside of the box thinking, so to speak. Um, but with that said, you know, if you have ideas in mind that you want to kind of expand on or build upon, then that's really where ChatGPT can, um, can become valuable. So you'll notice that when we ask it to generate some ideas, these are pretty basic and, and there isn't really anything that's truly unique here. But as we begin to kind of feed in um, unique ideas of our own, then ChatGPT can start to, uh, to give us some, some worthwhile feedback. Uh, so now let's go ahead and say that, um, you know, okay, we want to stick with this idea. This sounds good, connecting service industry personnel with event coordinators. So so let's let's ask for some key features. Let's ask ChatGPT what some of the key features of this application would be and uh, list it out in bullet points. All 
All right, great. So let's see, uh, we have uh, the first feature being a search and booking system that allows event coordinators to easily find and book service providers, great. A streamlined payment system to facilitate payments on the platform. A profile and portfolio feature for service providers. Um, all right, great. A messaging system uh, to communicate, a calendar and scheduling system based, uh, baked in. An option for service providers to rate uh, their experiences and list their price. And uh, okay, great. So, so this is very helpful. You know, on our own, we might been have been able to think up uh, one or two of these ideas, but this just kind of helps gives us um, a better framework or a foundation to build upon if we're really going to want to tackle this. So now, let's say that we are, for example, in the service industry. Maybe we have some technical skills. We've kind of played around with coding, but certainly, you know, not really sure where to start with this. So that's another thing we can use ChatGPT to help with. So we can say, uh, you know, what backend technologies would I need to consider uh, if I wanted to build the system myself? Okay, great. So it says that obviously we'll need a database management system such as MySQL or MongoDB, some, something to actually store our user data, totally makes sense. A server-side programming language such as Python or Java, a web framework uh, for, for the web interface, uh, an application programming interface or an API, um, and then a, uh, a hosting service either if we host it you know, uh, on-prem or you know, maybe a server at our house or we could host it in a cloud environment like AWS or Google. Okay, these are great. You know, again, this gives us kind of a framework to, to kind of build upon and, and a, um, a reference architecture at least you know, in the broad sense of the term. So now that we have this, we have an idea of some of the features, we have an idea of some of the technologies, maybe we can begin to start pulling things together. You know, if this is an idea we wanted to pursue, maybe we search our network and, and see, you know, who has some of these skills, who's familiar with AWS, who's familiar with Python or Java, et cetera, uh, that might be able to kind of help us uh, bring this to reality. So now let's see, the next thing we're gonna do is let's have ChatGPT write us a, a business plan so that we kind of know where to start with this. All right, and I asked ChatGPT to focus on the value uh, to users when it writes this business plan. Okay, great. So what we have here at the beginning, we have a introduction, uh, giving our audience an idea of what the platform is. XYZ Event Services is a platform that connects event coordinators with service industry personnel, such as caterers, bartenders, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And then the second paragraph uh, talks about the value proposition for event coordinators, uh, how it is, a, it is an easy and convenient way to find and book trusted service providers in their area. And then for service providers, what is the value add? And then a summary. Okay, great. So, you know, this is a good kind of starting point. And we could always refine this and say, you know, that we wanted to maybe add another another value proposition or, or something like that. But we, you know, what I'm going to do is is um, is flip this and ask ChatGPT to write us an elevator pitch. Something where, you know, if we're going to take this to other people and say, hey, I have this idea and I want to kind of build this out and this is what it is, that's when we want an elevator pitch. Okay, great. Are you an event coordinator looking for reliable and trusted service providers? XYZ Event Services connects you with caterers, bartenders, and other service industry personnel in your area. Our platform allows you to easily search, compare, and book services and offers a streamlined payment system and messaging tools to help you coordinate your event. Great. Exactly what we wanted. Again, you know, one of the value adds of GPT is that it is giving you a framework uh, or something to kind of expedite the creative process, but you still very much need to direct it. You need to use it as the tool that it is in order to get the best output. So the quality of the input 
the prompt that you're putting into it is going to dictate the quality of the output and the ideas and um, content that comes out of ChatGPT. So if you enjoyed this video, please, again, uh, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, feel free to leave any comments below if you have any questions. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.